Hi, Weekly Stuff and Things, Matthew Reibel here with a quick book review for you. I just finished reading This Dark Earth by James Horner, John Horner Jacobs. That's what I said. I didn't get it wrong. John Horner Jacobs, This Dark Earth, zombie novel. Talked about it in last week's episode of the show. Uh, grab your head knocker, get ready for some wet work in the murder hole. Still really like that tagline. Just finished that last night, and I would say that... Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend picking it up. Here's why. It felt very much like a manuscript for a much larger story. Uh, it doesn't feel finished. And it does have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, the pacing's a little odd. I felt like it had... The prose is solid. The way he describes things is wonderful. And I, I found myself enjoying many moments of it. Because it's only 335 pages long, if you're a quick reader, I would recommend picking it up and shooting through it because there are some worthwhile points. But if you don't read a lot and you're very selective, I would say pass because there are many other things worth reading out there that are a little better than this. Uh, I didn't hate it by any means, but it didn't really uh, make me feel satisfied, I guess is the best way to put it. The end follows. It makes sense and it isn't a big shocker. But it doesn't leave you feeling very satisfied by the end of the book, and that may have been his intention, I'm not sure. Some procedural things, you know, surviving the radiation and dealing with, you know, the way you deal with the zombies and the idea of Bridge City, which is where the, the characters end up. It's a cool concept, you know, turning a city, or turning a bridge into a city. You have defensible points. It's, it, makes, it makes a lot of sense. Really interesting. As I mentioned in uh, my little blurb about this book in last week's show, I liked how he wrote women. He did a, I thought he did a very good job of writing the character Lucy in the book, and I always find personally that writing women can be difficult. So for a, a dude to write a woman well is always nice to see. Some of the descriptions didn't quite paint the picture in my head immediately that I assume he hoped would, it would do, and that could just be me. Uh, I don't want it to blame the pros. That might not have been the case. I might have just been the way I was reading it. Um, but overall, it was paced out a little weird, and it felt like he spent like a lot of time in certain areas, and then kind of skimmed past other things. And in some cases, there were things I kind of wanted to know. I'm like, wait, what about what happened here? Or like, you know, why this or why that? And then it built up towards something, but then the payoff wasn't really there. And I think that was probably the biggest failing of the book. I enjoyed the first two thirds quite a bit, but then by the third act, it sort of kind of fell apart a little bit. And that's where it made me feel like it was almost like an unfinished manuscript. It didn't quite have the, the steam, if you will, to kind of carry itself all the way through to uh, a bigger, more satisfying ending. So on a scale of five, one to five, I would probably give this an even three, right, kind of in the middle. It's not entirely forgettable or terrible by any means, but if you're looking for something really intense and like captivating, this is probably not it. So that's the review for This Dark Earth by James Horner, John Horner, I can, I can never say this man's name, but John Horner Jacobs. Uh, I'll be reading something else soon. I don't know what it's going to be, but as soon as I know, you'll know, and I will review it when I'm done. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are. Go out and read a new book. It's good for you, like your vegetables.